what's going on pretty excited about today i found a park that's like right down the street from me i've never been to um it's along the chester creek it's called martin's park it's in uh glen mills or Chester, uh, chester heights not really sure uh it's right on the border there but looks awesome um just parked and, and got to the creek uh, like i said i've never fished this stretch of the chester creek it looks cool so uh we'll see uh we'll see what we can do hopefully you'll enjoy all right y'all so i'm gonna walk and wade up and down this creek and uh just using the four and a half foot tiny light rod from bass pro shops and my trout magnet might change depending on what i see in the creek um, but this is usually my my go-to lure when I'm exploring a new creek. It catches all different sides of, of fish. But if I see more bass or carp or catfish, we'll change it up. Yeah, I got a bite. Fish on. Good old-fashioned fall fish. How about that? All right. Boom. That was pretty fast. That was probably like four or five casts. Nothing huge, nothing to brag about, but always good to see those guys. All right, this tree looks good. It looks promising here. I got a feeling we're gonna pull out at least one fish here. All right, you gotta, no way. There we go. <laughs> it looks like the smallest sunfish ever. <laughs> it is. <laughs> smallest red breast. All right, little buddy. Let's let you go. Thanks for biting. I haven't seen any of you guys out. That's the first uh, sunfish that I've seen in this creek. I'm sure in the summertime there's a lot more. Nothing. Really glad I didn't get snagged over there. Oh, there's one. Sunfish? Is that... Wow, green sunfish. We don't catch a ton of these. That's so cool. I thought it was a rock bass at first. Cool. Look at that. Nice little green sunfish. Beautiful colors on it. All right, little buddy. Cool. So uh, three fish, three different species. I get a feeling we're not going to catch anything monstrous today, but who knows? All right, y'all. So here's the deal. I ran out of line on my other rod. <laughs> I got a uh, knot and I went to fix it and I just had to cut too much line. So I ran back to my car. I brought this. I'm glad I did. This is my new rod and reel. It's the same as before. It's a Bass Pro Shops Tiny Light. Looks like the only difference is the color. Um, and I'm still using the trout magnet. Just put two pound test on it. So we'll see how this works. This spot looks good. What is that? Like I said, I'm casting into the moon with this John. Is that? Oh, that's a big green sunfish. Dang, he's a hog. He choked it. Come on, buddy. He does not want to let go of this thing. These fish are funny because like there, I got it out and he didn't want to give it back. That's a big green sunfish. He's huge. Pretty fish. Wow. All right. First catch on the new rod and reel. Big old green sunfish. Bad cat. Oh, sunfish coming after it though. He got it. Wow, pumpkin seed. I think it's a pumpkin seed, right, y'all? One of my subscribers, Pablo, is amazing with fish. Pablo was... <laughs> Pablo, did you get a good look at that? Was that a sunfish? Or was that a pumpkin seed? Can you comment? Let me know what that was. <laughs> I think it was a pumpkin seed. Hopefully, y'all got a good enough look at it. What do we catch here? A bluegill. We are hitting every species in this creek. So, I'm, 
don't stab me. These ones are these ones will stab you. I think I've caught every species of sunfish here. Including a tree. Cool, so if y'all come to this Martin's Park and y'all want to catch every sunfish there's known to man, this tree <laughs> seems to be the spot. I can't help y'all any more than that. I don't know I don't know how to describe it. Looks like there's a trail here too, so if y'all want to bank fish or take the kids, that little spot looks good. I think something big is over there looking at it. I'm gonna call this the land of the monster green sunfish. Oh my gosh. This guy's a hog. Come here, buddy. Oh my lord. Look at the size of these guys. These are big green sunfish for Pennsylvania. Oh yeah. This is the best uh, stretch of creek for these guys I've seen in Delco thus far. Bye, Fran. I love them. I love that guy. What is that? Is that another big green? <laughs> Y'all, I am just catching monster after monster green sunfish i've caught like three of the biggest green sunfish i've ever caught in my life here today yeah, maybe the biggest can't grab it <laughs> got him bang look at him i'm catching monsters that's a beautiful fish. Look at how big that is. I mean, the green sunfish in here are huge. Oh. <laughs> is that another one? That's another one. <laughs> These greens are so cool and they're just pretty looking fish. Stuck me. Look at this one. Look at the colors on that guy. Beautiful fish. All right, y'all. So this is the best green sunfish spot that I found all along here. I haven't even gotten over here yet, but all along here, just cast after cast, picking them off. Have some red breast in there too, but just tons and tons of green sunfish and good sized ones. Really cool to see. We don't see that too much here. Uh, I think those are bluegill. That is... That's a bluegill. Yo, that's a big old bluegill. Dang, he's the size of my hand. Don't stick me. I do find it, and I, I do understand that there is uh, irony in that I just told this bluegill not to stick me as I caught him with the hook. And he got me. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm not going to hold him because he just attacked me. Bye, buddy. You're big. Look at him. Look at the size of him. Let me see. I might try to hold him. Come here. Open your mouth. Flipping a bluegill is difficult. He's worth it. He's a big one. There you go, y'all. Big old bluegill. Oops. And he's gone. <laughs> yeah, there's a big smallmouth in there. There's two. Dang. Cool. All right, y'all. I switched to this Uncle Buck's Helgramite. They come pre-rigged, which is kind of cool. And uh, I switched to this because I just saw some bass around here and they weren't biting the trout magnet. 
And I get a third miss. Got him. <laughs> that might be a spotted. Gone. Gonzo. Does that count as a catch? All right, y'all. Well, I'm just wrapping up and heading back. Uh, that concludes my day out here fishing at Martin's Park. It's a cool little park. This is my first time here, and it's way bigger than I expected. Uh, there's a lot of trails back here, and I didn't catch anything huge, but had a good day of multi-species fishing. Uh, if you're taking the family out, especially if you have little kids, this is just a great park. There's a lot of deep holes where you can just fish from the bank, and the kids seem like they would have a great time. So hopefully you all enjoyed this video. See y'all.